the minute I landed in Belfast and started um, and reconnected with the crew and started to um, slip into Stella's shoes, it felt like she's under my skin and um, in a good way and I, I really enjoy spending time with her and so it was just, it was, it was lovely, it really was. It really did feel like coming home. I'd never come back for a second series of anything, so I've never um, had that uh, experience. But I, I, I can't imagine it would be any better than it felt to come back to this. And it was, it is just like family, and we had the same crew from the first series, and just couldn't wait to get started on it. I got like a breakdown of them first. I was mm-hmm. sure you were involved in, but um, quite far in advance got a very detailed sort of 80 page Alan Cubitt breakdown of, of what would potentially happen mm. in each episode and I was shaking, mm. I was genuinely shaking, I was really, like, so <laughs> excited mm. to, to get stuck into it um, and then the scripts themselves came along a few months later and they lived up to that and more and yeah amazing. Also because a lot of the, you know, the circumstances that both the characters and other characters find themselves in is surprisingly unpredictable. I was very pleasantly uh, overjoyed <laughs> by, you know, just how, how good they were in the stories and the trajectory for the characters. Yeah. Still today, when I say I'm from Belfast, people are like, oh my God, is it, is it okay there? How was your upbringing? You know, it must have been crazy. And you're constantly sort of defending it and trying to explain that it's a great place full of brilliant people. And as a geographical place for, to set this drama, what a great idea, because it, it, it just adds an extra thing that people are always in the back of their mind. It already has an energy to it by the fact mm-hmm. that it's set in Belfast and everyone knows the history. Um, so for me, a total thrill to be there and, and to appreciate it and, and show that there's, you know, you can also, I guess, so much more to it than what people think. It's just, it's a beautiful place filled with beautiful people who are very um, interested, I think, in, in it being seen for what it, it is today. And I've, I've just had the most extraordinary experience working there. I think it's such a treat if you have um, so much unknown territory mm. within a character. And Alan is the master of sort of unknown territory and was very open to both what Jillian and I planned to do with that and how we planned to portray that on screen and um, that was very freeing um, to be able to to explore that and um but even within that what I found um, especially in the second season was um, you know having a certain trust in myself to know how to get places as Stella in scenes but there were two or three scenes um, in this particular series that written not that, but were really hard work there was a moment where she's not necessarily really telling the truth and revealing something to somebody else who trusts her and she trusts and needs that relationship so at what point is she lying at what point is she being a good uh, detective at what point you know and those um, there were a few uh, three specific um, scenes like that where I all of a sudden, couldn't rely on, on, on what I usually rely on. That's when I have an opportunity to exist in that world, working with somebody who is an artist like Anna Nunes.